Welcome to the Sports Flashes. Here mm. we have with us a renowned tennis coach whose spine injury curtailed her tennis career as a player in 2015. But Namita Bal is the name who found a way to channelize her energy and stoke her dreams of guiding young players to be champions of the country. The 26-year-old daughter of Nandan Bal easily one of the best coaches in the country namita has been coaching junior players and had recently been traveling for events in the men's circuits as well welcome namita thank you namita my first question would be you started coaching in 2015 isn't it right so like you have been working at the nandan bal tennis academy in pune uh, 2015 with the uh, beginners intermediate and advanced players so what do you feel was the role of a coach uh, in a player's success i feel the role changes as a player develops they they play different roles um, in different stages of a player's career so for me it's always been about uh, modeling my coaching style and adapting to what the player needs at that moment and what they are going through even off court i think there's okay. a lot to do court as well as on court great great so like in 2019 you were the captain of indian junior fed cup which is now known as billy jean king cup team in bangkok then thailand uh, how was the experience and whom do you consider the strongest contender amongst amongst the women playing for indian team so with the junior team it was with any team event it's always more exciting because uh, the coach plays a far more active role than we do in uh, individual tournaments we're right there on court and we're allowed to speak to the players between uh, at change overs so it's very interesting because we're always um uh, strategizing there are always there's always a change of game plans because the other coach is also trying to you know outsmart our players so it's a lot more exciting in team events it's always um a different experience to be part of a team for most of the players it's it's the only chance they get in the juniors there's one for under 14 and one for under 16 so there's only these two tournaments that we have in the juniors to be part of a team and playing for the country is a huge huge honor in itself uh so the experience is great for everybody involved uh the players as well as the captains uh as far as the juniors are concerned i think shruti alavat is one of our um, strongest contenders who could go on to do very very well uh she's got it all she's got uh, she's got the brain she's got the physique and uh she's got the versatility in her game to make it to the top okay great to know in india in india being a tennis coach is a vocation that is generally reserved for men isn't it so like have you ever have you ever felt out of place or have people ever made you feel that way how has it affected you then people have definitely tried to make me feel that way uh, whether intentionally or not but i don't think it's affected me that much i know um, the issue is only visibility there are more male coaches and, and uh, because people haven't seen too many female coaches it's dif- it's difficult for them to see um, a female coach play that role but there are many more female coaches now than when i started so it's definitely getting better and it's great to see that because um, all of us are being the change that we want to see um i've not really let it affect me because i've known um i've known in my bones that this is what i'm meant to do so whatever people have said has not faced me it's not let me feel like i don't belong here because i know that i do yeah i know that you are obviously different from most of the counterparts and uh, that can be intimidating have you ever struggled uh, with pressure or uh, self doubt as a result of this oh 100% uh i wouldn't say as a result of that but self doubt is something i think everyone faces every day in some form or the other um there's a lot of conditioning involved there's we live in a society where we're criticized far more often than we're praised so self doubt comes naturally to all of us self criticism comes naturally to all of us 
I think um, we're never going to get rid of the doubts. We're never going to get rid of our fears. But we can learn how to deal with them. We can learn how to um, convince ourselves that we are good enough. And I think that's what I do. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Totally agreed. So, like you have also made forays uh, into the men's circuit. What has been the experience so far? Um, initially, it was pretty funny because, like I said, we've seen too many female coaches, especially those traveling with uh, men's players. So they've often asked my players if I'm, you know, their sister or I'm just a friend traveling with them. They never imagined that I was a coach. Uh, but it has been. Um, it's been great because I learned how to stand my ground despite that. Um, once we once we started the tournament, it was um, it flowed very easily because then we were um, in our. I was in my element. I was doing what I was meant to do. My players, player were doing, were doing what they were meant to do. So it wasn't an issue then. Initially, it was a little weird because um, I was looked at strangely. I wasn't uh, looked at as a coach, but. Again, it boiled down to the fact that I can allow this to affect me, or I can allow it to empower me, and I just chose the empowerment. And here emerges an Amita Bal out of her great struggles and, uh, of course, experience. Uh, what is the significance uh, of women role models like you in sports today? For me, I think the biggest. Um, Significance would be, like I said initially, the visibility. I think it empowers uh, younger girls to take up the sport, not just tennis, but any sport. Uh, it shows them that there is a future beyond um, beyond what we've been conventionally taught that women should or shouldn't do. Um, there are so many more avenues now. Even if you discontinue playing the sport, there are many, many more avenues. There's college tennis, and you know the world. The world is your oyster. So uh, visibility is very, very important. I know that there were very, I mean, a handful of women coaches when I started, and uh, even fewer ten years before that. And I know I have a couple of role models um, in India. Shalini Thakur from Delhi. She is one of my role models. One of our first coaches, you know, female coaches. And I looked up to her, and I, um, I really loved how she taught. Um, how she changed herself uh, depending on who she was coaching and nothing that i don't think i've even spoken to her about it but it really did have a huge impact on me so just i feel that if she could have that impact on one person i'm hoping that the coaches that we have now can have that impact on many other women too or younger girls to take up a sport and um, do what they want with their life honestly Exactly. So, like a major issue that women across the world struggle with is body shaming. Have you ever had issues with your body image? And if yes, then how has it affected your life? Uh, hundred percent. I've had issues, and to be honest, I still continue to. Um, I wouldn't say struggle, but that self doubt is there quite often because. Um, I've grown up being a tennis player. I've grown up uh, identifying myself as being fit. So when I stopped playing and started coaching, I was um, terrified of losing that. I was terrified of losing my fitness, of losing the way I look, of losing my identity. Um, I know a lot of my players go through this, where they are um, termed as too heavy to be playing or too not strong enough to be playing. There's so many. Uh, judgments that are passed, but each body is different. Each person is different, and uh, we've just got to use what we have, uh, play to our strengths, and know that we are strong enough. Um, I think the biggest change for me was going from um, focusing on how I look to focusing on how I feel, and that's made a huge difference. I'm now that I'm focusing on how I feel, I'm eating a lot better, I'm healthier, I'm stronger, and I still feel fit. I haven't lost that. So I would Good advise... Thought. Yeah. Good thoughts, Namita. Like, what sort of changes do you think need to be made in order to improve the role of women in sports? We should... This is just my opinion, but I feel there should be a lot more done at the grassroots level. Um, even schools... 
like young young children should be brought into sport as early as possible um schools could do that we see we see a lot of you know young boys playing cricket and football on the streets there's not too many young girls that we see even though there are so many admirable female footballers and cricketers you don't see too many of them too many kids on the street playing so maybe getting schools to um include that as part of their um curriculum and uh like i said visibility would help with that you know this and it is better it is better today than it was 10 years ago and i'm sure five years down the line it will be even better so So like moving on to some personal uh, uh you know uh, era of your uh, life namita likes to do what if not tennis if not tennis uh, definitely be outdoors um and preferably outdoors with animals and animals okay animals. <laughs> okay okay so like uh, are you a movie uh, freak do you like um, movies I do like watching movies but um that's only if I'm like too tired to be outdoors I'd I'd rather be you know swimming or hiking or um just like I said outdoors anywhere in nature with with my dog and you are a, you are at a very prime location like Pune and it has many one day getaways yes. nearby yeah yeah okay, yeah exactly so who is your inspiration namita Oh, I have so many inspirations. So, um, my father definitely for you know the background he's come from and what he's achieved and what he's taught, uh, both on and off court. What he's taught me definitely my father. Um, every player that I have taught has inspired me. Has taught me something um, on a daily basis. Um, and it could just be the way they handle a situation it could just be the way they i know and they talk to me about you know certain fears that they have so whenever i see somebody overcome something even if it's for just one minute it's inspiring it's inspiring to do that because it inspires me to do better it gives me hope that uh, that i can be better and i can do better and also in some way gives me that happiness that i'm able to do this that i have been given the opportunity to do this so that inspires me and of course he is a proud father once we had a, had an opportunity to speak to him so he was yeah actually talking about you and you are you yeah of course you are a look alike of your father itself and one thing more like what are the upcoming tournaments that you are gearing up for uh so we've got the world junior tennis finals coming up uh that india qualified for after i think 8 years uh we played in delhi a couple of months ago and uh, we qualified along with um korea japan and australia so that's going to be in czech republic in the first week of august so we're pretty excited to be playing on that day and we're preparing for that thank you so much for your time namita namita bal is none other than the daughter of very renowned tennis coach tennis player nandan bal thanks for your time namita Thank you thank you for having me